In today's markets, flexibility is incredibly important. And I'm with Texel Air, who have got a flex combi, and it's the world's first, I believe. George Chisholm, the director of Texel Air, tell us about the combi, what is it? So this is the world's first uh, flexible combi freighter. Um, it is a combination aircraft that's able to switch between seven different configurations in around 12 hours. Um, you have a freight section, a passenger section, and in the passenger section we have about uh, six different configurations from medevac, business, and economy. So that really makes this aircraft available for anything you want, doesn't it? Correct, yeah. It's a mission-specific airplane designed to change in about 12 hours, uh, depending on customers' needs. So what sort of applications would you see people using that entire combi? I mean, taking a huge amount of freight and taking passengers, what sort of things would you do? Uh, we work in a bunch of different fields from ACMI, uh, government charter, uh, short-term ad hoc, um, really just humanitarian, um, a whole range of customer bases really, and also general freight. Okay, so when, when you have this concept of doing this, and it is the world's first, how on earth do you find someone who can take a 737-700 and, and do this? How did you go through the process? Uh, many years of research. Uh, we started this project back in 2015. Uh, we reached out to another number of companies, including Boeing themselves. Um, eventually, we went back to Pemco World Air Services, uh, based in Tampa. We've actually converted four previous freighters for us, um, and they also have a combi experience. So they were looking for a new gen customer, and we were looking for a new gen 7.3. Um, we pitched our idea, which was the flexible combi, and they agreed to work with us to develop the airplane you see today. And do you see other um, operators going for this idea? Um, we have some interest already. Uh, for us as Texel, we already have two in the pipeline, one here today. The second one will be going into conversion quarter one next year, with deliveries somewhere around quarter three. And we've got probably about four interested parties currently who are looking for additional aircraft. Okay, and you operate from Bahrain in the Middle East, so do you see this aircraft operating in, in other areas? Are you going to be available to uh, take charters on this anywhere else? Correct. Bahrain is our home base, um, but we operate globally depending on contracts. Currently around the MENA region uh, and also Asia into Europe, um, but we've been as far as South Korea, West Africa, up into Europe. Um, so wherever the business is, we, we can deploy the airplane. George, it's great to see a world first, and thank you for letting us look at the aircraft. Thanks very much.